Okay, so this is a kayak uh, milk crate cart that I just finished building. I just want to show everyone how I did it. I haven't seen any uh, quite like this. Um, most I see um, have axles and they need to be disassembled to mount to the kayak. But the reason I kind of designed this one was um, so it, you know, it took as little as time possible just to get it set up and go go in your kayak. Um, this is, you know, this can be quickly strapped to the kayak, walk down to the water, and then strapped to the kayak um, on the back, and then you're ready to go in your kayak. Um, so what I did was um, I took these Harbor Freight, these are actually fixed caster wheels, um, disassembled from the, the fixed caster bracket. Um, they come with a bolt for an axle, and I just used that bolt. Um, and I use this metal bar for support um, on one side of the milk crate. I bolted that in. And then I used the existing bolt, the axle bolt. And I ran that through. I drilled out one of these holes because this is a 5 8 bolt. I drilled that through and I made a quick little PVC spacer in here. So it goes the bolt, the bracket, PVC spacer, a large washer, 5 8 washer and then the wheel and then the uh, nylon nut here and same for the other side and then the reason I did this was because you won't have an axle going across and these are just on there and I mounted them so it's like so and then you just flip it over and then also, I put on this rubber mat from Home Depot, it was like $3. Um, it's rubber and it's like a non-slip mat, so it doesn't slide, and that works really good. So I'll go ahead and show you how it mounts to the, the kayak now. Alright, I've mounted it to the kayak now, it's a little hard to see because of the shadow. I'll get up under here. I simply just bungee strapped with this rubber strap around. And onto the other side of the seat. Same for the other side. Now you can see that it is bending a little bit. Quite a lot actually. But it actually it doesn't affect how it rolls. And it's not it's not so much the the crate bending at all. It's mostly just the the wheel moving on the on the axle. Um, since it doesn't have that caster anymore, to, it's kind of sloppy, but. All I'm going to be doing is using this to go from my car to the water. Um, this kayak only weighs 38 pounds, so with my gear, it's going to be, you know, I don't have much gear at all. Just my tackle and some a, couple, a bottle of water or two. Um, it's going to be 50 pounds at most. Um, it really does not, does not uh, affect it. Um, if anything, I, what I can do is add a metal bar on this side and just tighten up the axle. Um, but other than that, it works really well. And all you gotta do is just lift up the front here and you're on your way. And it just works really, really well. You can roll back, pivots really easy. And then I'll go ahead and set it up on the, on the kayak. All right, here it is set up on the kayak. Um, basically just took some of these nylon eyes, um, put two on this little edge here, and then two right in the back, right above the drain hole, and then those same, um, these rubber bungee cords, um, just ran it through here. Uh, I just did a little crisscross, um, I'm sure it's fine either way, straight or crisscross, and as you can see, you know, it moves the whole kayak. It's, I mean, it moves a, a bit, but you know, nothing that's nothing that's gonna fall off. Um, as you can see, the wheels just stay suspended. Um, it's most of the ones I've seen. You have to take out the axle and then they rest it inside. But here, you still have most of your space. Um, the bungee cords are lifting it off about an inch, but that's fine. You can still throw tackle and everything in there. Um, you can put rod holders in here. Uh, you can do four. Or really do as many as you want. 
We could even do some back here as long as it doesn't, you know, go above or below here. And as far as the wheels, what I was saying earlier with them bending, it's mostly just, you know, slopping the axle here. It's, it's not really bending as far as it, as it really looks. It is bent, of course, but nothing that's going to break on me anytime soon. So, yeah, um, really simple. Um, it's quick and easy. It takes 30 seconds to put on and put the kayak on the car and 30 seconds to put the car on the kayak. You know, uh, no time. You don't have to spend all the time to undo axles with PVC pipes and pins and stuff like that. Um, just quick and easy, more time to be out on the water. Uh, by the way, this is the Pelican 10-footer. Uh, they have them at all the sporting goods stores. It was on sale for like uh, $200. So yeah, that is the quick and simple kayak cart, kayak milk kayak, milk crate, cart, trolley, whatever you want to call it, but, yeah, can't wait to actually go out and use this, just finished building it, so, just did some tests around the yard, but it works great, if you have any questions on, uh, exactly, uh, you know, what parts I used, um, I know it's kind of hard to tell when it's all assembled, but if you have any questions, I'll try to help you as much as I can, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.